What's up guys and today I want to talk about uh, AI wing formation and uh, getting your wingman to fly uh, next to you much much closer than what the default uh, range is. So w let's get started and just to uh, just on a side note this can only be done in the mission editor. Uh, you can't really do it in flight um, my personal feeling and from what I've seen is that uh, you can, uh, once you've done it in the mission editor, editor and then you fly the mission and you try it out, you can get your wingman to go out to open the formation spread out. I don't know if you can get it to come back in as close as it was when you set it in the mission editor but uh, that's uh, that's for that's later on in the video so let's uh, let's get started so mission editor right here get started uh, we're gonna create a new mission leave this as is and we'll set this up come on today all right, we're going to have our aircraft. We're going to put it over uh, the water here. So we're going to add aircraft here. Uh, we're going to make it an F-18. Uh, did it? Uh, where is it? There it is. F-18, lot 20. And we're going to put it right here over the water. All right, it's going to be the player. That's going to be me. Now, one of the things that you want to do is you want to make sure when you're setting up your wingman, do not click on aircraft and add another jet right next to it. The mission editor will do it for you, and here's how you do it. All right, uh, to start, actually, before we do that, let's just give uh, my plane here a waypoint. Nice long waypoint. All right, and so back to getting your wing, wingman if you have a look over here it says unit one of one that's me all right or that's you whatever and then you want to make sure that you click on the arrow here to make it one of two now you have two planes and you're not going to see it here and again a mistake that i made because i didn't zoom in but if you zoom in really close there you go there's your wingman that's oh never mind let's delete that waypoint that's me, that's me, that's my wingman right there. Okay, so how do we get our wingman to uh, stay really close to us? So here's what we do, all right? You make sure that you are selected, all right? Your jet is selected, um, and then you go to uh, Advanced Waypoint Actions, you add, and you go to Set Option, and you go to formation and you have a choice here so type echelon right you can set whatever you want okay but if you have a look here it says variant open and so it's set right now it's set to a kilometer away 1000 uh, 1055 meters and you want to get this nice and close so right here group close 39 meters that means that the jet is going to be 39 meters away from you all right so we've already set that option so let's go to the loadout all right so we've got our loadout it's going to be VFA 122 nice and pretty uh, sorry that's a skin the loadout right here there we go am 120c's loaded up with a bunch of slammers and I think that's it. Yeah, so let's see if our wingman has the same loadout now and the same skin. Mm -hmm. No, it does not. So we're going to set that loadout right there. Slammers, 122, done, bang. All right, so you got the same skin. Your wingman's got the same skin. Let's save this mission as... Bobo, because I deleted Bobos. So we're going to create another Bobo. And save again, because I'm a little paranoid about this stuff. Fly mission. And let's see what happens.
Okay, fly. Perfect. All right, so bring our throttle up. To about uh, 50. Let's make it a little quieter in the cockpit here. Options, audio, cockpit, bang. Volume down a little bit. Okay, perfect. Much better. All right, now let's have a look. Look off to our right. There's our wingman. See how close he is? And then I'll do F5. Okay, it's too loud to say anything, but just for comparison's sake, that's how close he is right there. Now let's say if we disrupt this in any way, click on control and then uh, forward space, click on flight, click on formation, and let's say we go to finger four. Let's flight, see what he does. go finger four. There we go. All right. Okay, let's look to my left side. It's about the same, same distance. Now, let's get him to open the formation. Formation. Flight, open formation. Well, from formation. <laughs> Here he goes. Uh huh. He's going below me. He's going to the other side. There he is. All right. Let's. Uh, what's my speed here? 328. All right. So 328. That looks like where he's gonna s where he's gonna settle in here. No, he's not gonna settle there. Uh, there we go. He's settled in there. That's a, it's so it seems. So let's close it up again. See what happens. Formation. Close formation. Flight. Close formation. Roger. Gonna get in closer. Oh, he is getting in closer. Oh, well, look at that, eh? Let's see where he settles. Yeah, settles right there. All right. Okay, so you learn something new every day. I learned something in, in this video. Hopefully, you guys learned something in this video. You can get the wingman to, to stay in close as he originally was when you set it up in the mission editor and you can get them to go out you can get them to do all sorts of things so that's how you do it if you're new to dcs or if uh, like me you're used to falcon 4 where you can get the wingman to come in so close that they can crash into you which i think should be an option in dcs as well because it's about having the choice it's not about it has nothing to do with realism or you know learn the fucking manual or anything like that it has everything to do with uh, having the choice to bring them in as close as you want because when you're flying multiplayer and you're flying with your friends sometimes you like to do tight formation flying which is really really cool to learn and really fun to watch and just fun to do even if you crash into each other you're still having fun and that's what it's all about so dcs wagner if you uh, see this wake up and uh, let's see if we can get this implemented anyways Take care, guys, and bye-bye.